Here is the hair. It is birthday party day. Here is my outfit. Cheers! <laughs> on Sunday. Today is Thursday and so this is a fun birthday weekend vlog. We have lots of fun things happening. So today I'm gonna go get my hair done, nails done, looking all beautiful. We have a fun game night tonight. Tomorrow we're going to a concert. Saturday I'm having friends over. Sunday we're going to dinner. It is just a busy weekend. So yeah, I'm very excited. I love celebrating my birthday, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Brian does not, so he always rolls his eyes, but hopefully he has fun and celebrates with me too. But yeah, I'm just really excited, grateful for another year around the sun, and I'm now healthy, no COVID if you saw my last vlog. And so yeah, I'm just very excited. This is gonna be a really fun one. Ooh. All right, hop up. Oh. 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 Sorry, you're a little, you're a little crooked, but that is what we are doing. So, I just got outside of Flourish Beauty, my hair place. My hair is kind of tucked in a little bit, but gonna go get a cut and color. So very excited. You see my ends are a little, little scraggly, so I'm excited to get that all cleaned up. But yeah, I've just been working today, taking a few hours off here to go get my hair done, and then I'm excited for later um, to go get my nails done. But a look that I've really been liking too with these blazers, um, whether or not your hair is done, but you kind of like tuck your hair in. I don't know, it might look weird here, but when you're walking around, it's definitely like a cool girl around vibe so I have been liking that but got my water need to hydrate I haven't been super hydrated today so always like to bring water with me hopefully they have coffee or something too because it is 9 45 and need some more coffee so yeah we'll see you inside It is pouring rain outside, I just ran back to the car. Here is the hair. Super cute, we've been going a tiny, tiny bit darker. I know it doesn't look super dark, but a smidge darker than we have been. Yeah, clean ends, and then I'll show you at home, but we're starting to kind of taper the back of my hair so it's a little more of like a V as it grows out instead of like totally blunt all the way across. But, I really like it. Looks good. Got my nails done. Just got white today. We are on our way to game night. The car is full once again. Um, there's a showing at our house, and so we're taking Ryder, we're taking our suitcases uh, with us so that we can be out of the house. So it has a showing. Yeah, I just went and got my nails done. They're really cute. I'm excited for game night now. Um, some friends were going over to a friend's house. I don't know what games we're playing, do you? Hopefully chess. Oh, do you want to tell them that your big chess news? Hey, 1500 and rapid, baby. It's a big, big accomplishment. Oh yeah, chess.com. Shout out. Reach out if you want a sponsorship. PC, PC 9992 if you want to. If you want to get out of it. Yeah, chess.com if you want a sponsorship, you know, yeah. reach out. Yeah, we chess. do lots of chess.com plugs. Yeah, somebody collab with chess.com in yeah. case you want. We're hungry. I'm going to make some melon prosciutto mint for our appetizer that we're bringing. Did a quick TJ's run, Trader Joe's. 
And then I also got the little pre-made um, po lemon pasta. I forget what they're exactly called, but I'll show you when I get there when I'm unpacking everything. Um, but yeah, I didn't have time to make an appetizer after work. So we're gonna go. I am ready for a glass of wine. I got you two things of beer, so hopefully you'll be ready. But I wanna- Wow, we're gonna make it home tonight. Well, do you wanna drive? <laughs> I was hoping not to, but. We an Uber if we need to. <laughs> Oh, we have our dog. We have a dog. Yeah, Ryder's all the way in the back. He's coming. But yeah, I'm excited to relax a little bit. Or some R&R &R and yeah, have a night with friends. with some friends, Graham and Sarah, whose house we were at yesterday. So we were going to go see Hayden James in the University District, which will be super fun. It is a pouring rain, like pouring rain. It is the middle of June, but you would never know it here in Seattle because it is so horrifying out. So I am not really going to do my hair because it's going to be completely flat by the time I get anywhere. So I'm not gonna waste my time doing my hair. I am going to do my makeup and thought I would chat with you. I'm essentially living out of my travel stuff since we're selling the house, but it's looking somewhat promising that we might have enough for That'd be great. We had a pretty busy day today. Um, both Brandon and I were working. We ended up having two showings on the house. So we had to like run out and work from the Starbucks and everything. I was like taking meetings in my car. So it's been a little hectic. If anyone else has been moving and stuff, I'm sure you know, but you have to stage your house so that it looks good and it's ready for people to come do tours. So it has to like look great. So we essentially have a bunch of our essentials in a suitcase and we're like throwing the suitcase in the car and like and we're heading out anytime someone's doing a showing so a little wild but getting used to it as long as it in the end it's worth it right you can always do anything as long as you know what the end objective and goal is this um concealer I've been breaking out a little bit more than normal. I've been eating dairy um, more than usual. So before the wedding, for almost a year, like definitely nine, ten months, I had no dairy and my skin was doing a lot better. I had done a food sensitivity test and so that was one of the things that came up on it was dairy. And then I did a full kind of elimination diet 
not diet, but like where you fully eliminate things from your diet and then test as you re-enter. I did that with a nutritionist last year and definitely noticed that dairy was inflammatory for me. Um, but after the wedding, I've just been a little more, just less strict and just less kind of caring about what I'm eating, which <laughs> isn't great, but yeah, just haven't been as strict. And I know I'll get back on the bandwagon a little bit, but just trying to be mindful and like not be, put too much pressure on myself and everything. So yeah, I've been having croissant here and there. I've been having baked goods here and there whenever I see something that looks good. So yeah. In general though, um, day to day I won't really eat it a bunch, but I haven't just been cutting it out completely like I was before. But what do we still have this weekend? So this weekend, tomorrow some of the girls are coming over. We're hoping it's gonna be, I'm hoping it's gonna be good weather. Because I wanted to do a little like rooftop thing, which is essentially a goodbye to this house. Cause this will be kind of the last time we'll be able to entertain here. And our roof doesn't fit that many people. So I just did kind of really tiny group um, for a casual birthday get together. Um, ordered my favorite cake from Daru over in Kirkland, it's so good. If you know, you know, you're in Seattle. So ordered that, we're just doing really easy catering from Whole Foods, got some kind of pre-made trays and everything. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm excited, the weather looks like it might hold out for us, which would be nice. But yeah, I just always think it's fun to celebrate your birthday growing up. My mom would throw really fun birthday parties um, that were always like really themed and great and it was just such a fun memory. And so to me, birthdays are always super special and fun. So I love to celebrate them. And then, yeah, that's tomorrow, Saturday. And then Sunday, which is my actual birthday, um, I'm going to a Pilates class because that's like one of my favorite activities and I love to just do that. So I figured, why not do one of my favorite things on my birthday? So I'm gonna go to a Pilates class and then um, go to brunch with my mom. And we're gonna go to Westward, um, which is really nice kind of outdoor, fun outdoor spot so i don't think the weather is going to be great for that which is a bummer but um we'll make it work and then brian's taking me to dinner at this place called como also over in kirkland and never been my friend victoria recommended it but it looks really cute it's right on the water so that should be pretty fun and then what else for my b-day those are kind of main birthday weekend plans that we still have ahead yeah i'm very excited been trying to grow my lashes out and I feel like doing the curler has kind of it up like I feel like the curler kind of breaks off some of my eyelashes I don't know if anyone else has that but there's mascara and no mascara you can see even without the curling wand it's doing good just gonna brush on my hair do a little dry shampoo we should be good to go. So that is quick, easy look. Getting ready, just easy jeans. And then I don't really have good shoes. So most of them are gone. So we'll figure out what to wear for shoes and we'll have a fun night out. day so it is Saturday I'm gonna get ready for the party some girls are coming over to hang out on the roof so I thought I'd take you along to get ready with me have a little bit more setting up to do and then
for the party. So I'm just going to speed through this one so I won't be talking about. So yeah, I'll speed up and we'll see you when I'm done. for my birthday. Need to change, need to start putting out the food, and then it is gonna be party time. So, I'm very excited. Here is my outfit. It's a little eyelet set. It's really cute. I think I got it from Nordstrom a few years ago, so I won't be able to link it. I'm sure you could Google search for a similar one. I just switched around some of my earrings. Some of my earrings. Those are all majory, both of those. Curled hair. Yeah, I think it's really cute. And then the shoes that I have, these are new. They're from Pretty Little Thing. They're kind of dupes of the Bottega ones. So really cute mesh. I'll show you once I put them on later, but super cute. All right, should we go upstairs, see dad? Come on. Let's go out on the deck. It is so pretty out. So nice. Let's go up. Hello. What's up? Not too much. You're in the sun? So nice. So nice. So yeah. Get some sun, we have all of our little furniture set up. Yeah, you problem. saw me do the little pots a little bit ago. And the table. So nice. We're gonna sit and enjoy for a second. Will you get a shot of my outfit? Mm -hmm. Here's the birthday. Birthday girl. Need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Step a charm. All right, it is time for some party setup. Gonna make the house smell good, you know. All right, I'll show you kind of what we have so far. So the house was set up for staging. So it's pretty empty. Bye. So I've set up. I'm gonna do bar area over here. 
So I have some other hard liqueurs chilling. And then all the glassware so people can pick. And then this is where we're gonna do the cake. So have the little candles, plates, all of that ready. And then we had already moved all of my drink tubs. Um, I would normally put like a drink tub there, but they're already all in storage. So we're gonna do the Big Yeti. And I got a bunch of ice, so I'm gonna set that up and just leave that open and do a cute kind of drink situation. And then I'm gonna take this Yeti and stick it on the roof with some drinks. And then we're gonna do some food over here. So people come at seven, so we weren't doing like a full dinner, but have a few, um, a few food dishes, let me show you. Did just kind of catering from Whole Foods. So I'm gonna just put those on better plates. And then just have tons of wine, sparkling water, all of that. So I'm going to get everything set up here. It is 6.19, so we have 40 minutes till people come. So I'm gonna do this and kind of do drinks first and then do the food a little bit closer to when guests arrive. So let's, let me find you a good spot. Let's see if we can go over here. I haven't had you over here. All right, can you see? All right, so I'm just gonna run around and start getting set up. some garnishes. Let's see if we can make some, some YouTube magic. Ready, go. Ta-da! Got all the garnishes cut. We have little blackberry, lime, lemon, orange, and mint. I thought it would be a cute little assortment. Love it. There were kids that were right, in trouble before I got yeah. into the classroom during choice time. Oh, really? Like the first 15 minutes, they had to have they had cooler, and then all of like, our food. Think about their bad behavior. Think about it. It's <laughs> so, like these kids were like clearly like I was like playing with Legos, and I and I look over, and one of the girls is like, <laughs> just like just like so much <laughs> drain out of her face. Like, but I was like, I thought so. Do you want to get a close up of the 31? Do you think they're like? The Drew cake, man. Yeah. And start crying, and they were just like, "This is the consequence of my actions." This is my bad side. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do a quick intro. It is my birthday, it is Sunday, and I'm about to go hop in to grab some brunch with my mom and Brian. So I haven't chatted with you today, so just wanted to say hello. Poor little writer's gonna hang out for a little bit. Um, but yes, um, last night was super fun. I had a great night with the girls up on the roof. Um, you saw just a little bit of footage. And then this morning I went to Pilates 
which I love. Um, so really wanted to do that as one of my favorites for a good day. So yeah, let's head over to brunch. We're going to Westward in North Lake, just North Lake Union area. So we'll see you there. Thank you.